going to stop somewhere. And when it stops, when it stops, we're going to actually answer the questions in the video, okay? And, and after that, we are going to talk about Christmas, our Christmas, okay? So let's begin. So look and listen as I play the video for you. Santa Claus. It is said that Santa Claus lives near the North Pole and flies through the sky on a sleigh pulled by reindeer. You know, where does Santa Claus live? Hmm. Where does he live? Where? In his sleigh? At the, the North, North Pole? Oh. Antoine, can you see that again? At the North Pole. At the North Pole. Pole, oh, very good, very good. Well done. Well done. Good job. Next, let's go ahead. Listen again. Pulled by reindeer. He is a happy old man with a white beard, wearing a red suit. He'd Mm -hmm. Let's put the words together, starting with the one in capital letter. He, yes, starting with the one with the capital letter. So we start with he, right? Right now? Yeah. The letter. You want to listen again? Do you want to listen again? Yes. Let's listen again. Let's listen again, boys. He is a happy old man with a white beard, wearing a red suit. He is? He is a happy old man. The old man? With, right? With, uh, what? Oh, a white bear. A white bear? Wearing a red suit. Fair enough. Let's go ahead. He comes down the chimney with toys for children. How does Santa get into the house? Through the front door? Through the chimney? Or through the wall? Do you know, Antoine? Yeah, now. Oh, chimney. Chimney, yeah, the chimney is this one right there. You can see him come out from the chimney. Look there, there, there. That's the chimney. Okay, it connects straight up to the roof of the house. Comes down the chimney with toys for okay, children. The chimney, all right. Next, let's go ahead. Before American and British children go to bed on Christmas Eve, they leave mince pies, biscuits, and something to drink for Father Christmas. What do the children leave for Santa? Do you know? What do they leave for Santa? They, I can, I can, I can hear you right now. I cannot hear you. Turn on your mic. 
What do they leave for Tea, cookie, and milk. Cookies and milk. Milk. What else? That, that's all? Yes, there's the milks, the biscuits. And they also, the other one. They also leave a Christmas stocking where Father Christmas puts their presents. They also leave a Christmas stocking where Father Christmas their presents. What is it? What is it? What is missing? Antoine, do you know? Rhino, do you know? Yes, Rhino. Let's listen just one more time. Just one time. They also leave a Christmas stocking where Father Christmas puts their presents. Okay, there. <clears throat> they also leave a Christmas stocking where yeah, Father Christmas put. Good. Puts the presents. Okay. Next. Elves. The elves help Father Christmas. They make toys. They make dolls, teddy bears, trains, bicycles, cars, video games, and lots more. What kind of toys? Do the elves make? You know? Antoine, do you know what kind of toys they make? Din Hai, you can write in the chat. Din Hai, you can write in the chat if you know. Right now, do you know any toys they make? Let's listen again to the toys, okay? Elves. The elves help Father Christmas. Good. They make toys. They make dolls, teddy bears, dolls, trains, teddy bicycles, bears, train, cars, bicycles, cars, video games, video games, and lots more. Okay. <clears throat> so what do they make now? Yes, right now, Antoine. Yes. Hi. They make. They make doll, car, dolls. train, teddy bear, video game. Teddy bear. Video games. All right, lovely. Next, <clears throat> let's go ahead. What's more? <clears throat> In December, they wrap the toys with colorful paper and bows. What do they do in December? Wrap the toys, paint the toys, fix the toys. What is it? Wrap the toys, paint the toys, <clears throat> fix the toys. Okay, let's let's listen again what they do in december let's listen again in, in december, december they wrap the, wrap toys, the toys with colorful, colorful paper, paper and bows <clears throat> <clears throat> so what do they do they wrap the toys good job they wrap the toys next let's go ahead to the next one and on Christmas Eve, 24th of December, Father Christmas takes the presents to boys and girls all over the world. 
When is Christmas Eve? Twenty-four December. Twenty-four December. Twenty-five. Twenty-four December. Twenty-five is Christmas Day. Twenty-four is the day, the evening before Christmas. Reindeer. Father Christmas has nine reindeer. Their names are Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donder, Blitzen, and Rudolph. Mm. Can you name a list three reindeer? Let's try and listen to the names again. Reindeer names now. reindeer. Father Christmas has nine reindeer. Their names are Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donder, Blitzen, and Rudolph. Say any name you know? Dancer, Vixen, and Rudolph. And Rudolph, okay. Okay, very well. <clears throat> and Rudolph. Yeah, let's go ahead. They are all very special, but Rudolph is extra special. He has a red nose. Who has a red nose? Rudolph. 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 Good, good. His funny red nose helps Father Christmas find all the houses in the dark. How does his nose help Santa? Let's listen again for that information about his nose. His funny red nose helps Father Christmas find all the houses in the dark. So, how does his funny red Find nose? Find all the house in the shop. Good. And all the houses in the dark. Right. Good job, good job, boys. You did very well. You have a hundred percent. Now I'm gonna take you to our book for today. Very good job, very good job. Today we're gonna to learn from where we stopped already. So let me share my screen with you quickly. Mm. All right. Okay, so now we're going to learn from unit what? What unit are we going to learn? Unit what? Unit what? Unit what? Yes, right now, Antoine. Today we're going to learn. Uh, I know. Today yes. We're Learn ABCD, okay? Right? Today we're going to learn ABCD. Yes? No? Hmm. You don't want to learn ABCD? Hmm. hmm. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Antoine, you want to learn ABCD? Hmm. No. Do you know? Do you know ABCD? Yes. Oh, I see. I see. All right. So, um, anyways, today we're going to review. We're going to review uh, unit eight. 
right? We're going to review unit eight and then we will learn unit nine. So um, let me go to unit eight quickly. We're gonna review unit eight and then we'll go back to learn unit nine. So let me quickly get my screen going as I go to unit eight, okay? There we have it. So unit eight, what did we study about? We're gonna find out in a minute. Uh, six, seven and eight, good. So unit eight, we learned about eating healthily. So tell me, do you know how to eat healthy? Is pizza healthy or not healthy? Pizza, is it healthy or not, not healthy. healthy? Oh, I see. So Antoine, what do you think about chocolate? Is it healthy? Not healthy? Not healthy. Okay. Uh, I want them um, in high. You just do your hands like this or like this. Okay, so Tian Hai, do you think um, hamburger is healthy or not healthy? Okay, good. Yeah, so if it's not healthy, it's unhealthy, right? Uh, good, so we will we'll, we'll, we'll learn more about junk foods and vegetables as well. So uh, do you like to eat junk foods? Do you like to eat junk foods? I like to eat junk foods. Do you eat junk foods too? Antoine, uh, then how you eat junk food? Do you like junk food? All right. Uh, Antoine, what about you? Do you like to eat junk, junk foods too? Yes. Mm. What's your favorite junk food? My favorite junk mm. food is Mm. I like to eat what? I like to eat. Uh, I like to. You can say I like to eat pizza. I like to eat hamburger. Yes. Yes, right now. I like to eat fried chicken. Fried chicken, mm. okay. And uh, hi, do you like pizza? Then hi, you like pizza or hamburger? Pizza. Oh, you love pizza, okay. Okay, I see, very good, very good. Anyway, let's go ahead. What about um, vegetables? Do you like vegetables? I love vegetables, I love uh, what, what, what do I like? What do I like? I like carrots. I don't like cucumbers. What about you, Rhino? Do you like vegetables? Yes. Do you eat vegetables every day? Yes. And you, Dian Hai, just use your hand to say yes or no. Do you like vegetables? Do you eat vegetables every day? Okay, okay. And Antoine, what about you, Antoine? Do you like vegetables? Yeah, Antoine, I cannot hear you. Do you like vegetables? Yes. Do you eat vegetables every day? Yes. Mm. Okay. Anyways, let us uh, go ahead. And so we also learned about um, the healthy eating pyramid. It's very difficult to eat healthily. So it's really hard because you must 
try to avoid some junk foods. And they're all very delicious. The junk foods are very delicious. You see, this is a junk food, a junk drink, but it's very delicious. Mm. Mm. Really delicious. I can't, cannot let it, I cannot let it go, no. So delicious. Yes, but if you want to eat healthily, you must not think about the junk foods. I know the junk foods are very delicious, more delicious than healthy foods. But what to do? You've got to eat healthy. So tell me, do you always or sometimes eat bread? Actually, do you always eat bread or sometimes eat bread? I sometimes eat bread. So, Antoine, do you eat bread and egg or bread and meat? Yes. Bread and egg or bread and meat? Bread and egg. And, uh, then hi, do you always eat bread? Always eat bread. Sometimes eat bread, never eat bread, okay? So then hi, do you always eat bread? Oh, you never eat bread, hmm, interesting. Uh, Rhino, do you always eat bread? Yeah. Do you eat bread for breakfast? Yes. Hmm, so what do you eat, bread and egg? Of bread and meat. I eat bread, egg, meat, and cheese. Lovely, very lovely. I don't like cheese. I don't like cheese. I think cheese are not delicious. I don't like them. Anyhow, let's go ahead. The next one. What about tomatoes? Do you like tomato? Thank one. No. Oh, I love tomatoes. Very delicious. Hi. Then hi. You like tomato? Or you don't? Okay, good. Rhino, do you like tomato? I, I don't like tomato, but I like tomato ketchup. Oh, hey, hey, hey. I see. The ketchup is very delicious, right? You can use the ketchup to eat. French fries, yummy, 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 very delicious. I like it. Okay. All right. Now, uh, we also learned about, okay, we're going to talk about that one in the next one. Uh, we learned about how to use the, the, the first conditional uh, using the if, okay. If I don't come to school, my teacher will be angry. If I stay at home, my mom will be mad. We also practiced and we learned about um, burning things in the kitchen. So do you cook? Do you cook in your house? Antoine, do you cook in your house? No. I, I can see you don't cook in the house, I know. Then hi, do you cook in the house? Yes or no? Now, uh, Rhino, what about you? You've got to cook. Do you cook in the house? Uh, I don't cook in the house. Goodness me. I don't cook as well, but I sometimes cook if I am free or if I am not very tired, I cook. Okay? All right. So... Uh, looking at the next one, uh, we're going to do some activities now uh, with lesson nine, okay? The big match. The big match. Now, do you like football? You can hide. Do you like football? Okay. What about you, Rhino? Do you like football? Yes. And Antoine, do you like football? 
Yes. You like Messi or Ronaldo? Antoine, do you like Messi or Ronaldo? Mm. Mm. Yeah, Antoine, like do you like them. Messi or Ronaldo? I like too. I like, I like, I like, I like them both. I like them both. What about you? Uh, 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 hi, dear hi. Do you like Messi or Ronaldo? Or, or, or I like them both. Oh, you like them both, okay? You like Ronaldo, Ronaldo? Uh, you like them both, okay, okay, good. Uh, and why no? Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. Hmm. I like Messi too. He's very good, anyhow. So today we're going to talk about the big match. So have you ever gone to watch watch a match before maybe go to hanoi hanoi fc and watch hanoi fc have you ever watched a football game before no yes or no then hi have you ever watched a football game yes or no oh yes okay what about you antoine have you ever watched yes, a football yes. game? Yes. Okay. And right now, you too? Have you ever watched a football game? Yes or no? Mm, yes. Mm, okay. Now, we're going to read the words. So, Antoine and um, Rhino would read because um, Ben Hai does not have a mic. But first, I will read for you to listen. On Saturday. Hi, Jean. Hello, kids. I am glad you are here. Are you ready for your surprise? Can't wait. Soon. Jean, I've got us tickets to watch the big match. We've got the best seats in the stadium. Wow, this is wonderful. Can we see everything from here? If you are lucky, we might meet the players. The game is nearly over. Team. Wow. Your team is really good. Yes, the players are great and the team has just got a new goalkeeper. He's amazing. I hope the team wins this game. If they win, they'll get that trophy. The game is nearly over. The team has to score another goal to win the match. This is really exciting. Ha <laughs> ha. You're a football fan now, Kate. Yes, they scored, yay! We've won. That's fantastic. Come on, kids. I've got a job for you. You can give the, tro you can give the trophy to the captain of my team. Fantastic, yeah. We loved the match. You all played really well. Thank you. It's nice to meet new fans. We'll come back and watch you play again when Jean's leg is better. Now, we are going to read. So I want you to take turns to read Antoine and Rhino, okay? Antoine, hi, hi Jean, Rhino. Hello, kids. I'm glad you're, you're here. Antoine, can't wait. Uh, Rhino, I've got our tickets to watch the big game. Antoine, wow, this is Wonderful, Rhino, if you're lucky, okay? We're gonna take turns to read. 
Okay. All right, now let's begin. Uh, uh, Rhino, can you read first? Hi, Jim. Antoine. Oh, hello, kids. I'm glad you are here. Glad you are here. Are you ready for your surprise? Are you ready for your surprise? We can't wait. I have got us tickets to watch the big match. Uh, we have got the best seats in the stadium. Wow, this is wonderful. We can see everything from here. If you are lucky, we might meet the players later. Wow, your team is really good. Yes. The players are great, and the team has just got a new goalkeeper. He's amazing. I hope the team wins this game. If they win, they get the trophy. The game is nearly over. The team has to score another goal to win the match. This is really exciting. Aha, you are football fan now, kids. Yes, they scored. We've won. That's fantastic. Come on, kids. I've got a job for you. You can give the trophy to the captain of my team. Fantastic. We love the match. You all played really well. Thank you. It's nice to meet new fans. We will come back and watch you play again when Jim's leg is better. Very well. Very, very, very well. Now, we are going to try and answer the questions. I also play football and my leg is not better. I broke my leg, ah, my leg, my leg, while I was playing football. So now I'm going to stay at home and use this to massage my legs. Ah, my legs, so I bought this one too. I can use it to like massage my legs. like that yes anyways let's answer the questions yeah jim has got tickets i know can you see the screen okay so let's answer the questions now uh uh Number two is for Rhino. Number three, Antoine. Number four, Rhino. Number five, Antoine. Number six, Rhino. Okay, let's answer the questions now. The children have got the best seats. Good. Number three, Antoine. Yes, Antoine, my three is for you. The children meet the players or the children meet the trophy later? The children might meet the players later. Number four, Antoine. The team has got a new goalkeeper. Okay. Number five, right now. Jim has got. Jim has got a 
job for the children. Yes. The children give the coffee to the captain. Very good. The children give the trophy to the captain. Very well. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead. Now, you know, in a football game or in any game, also in, a, in sports as well, we have some words we're going to look at in the, in, in the, in, in the games. And first we have is an athlete. An athlete is a person who plays sports, football, running, yeah. He's an athlete, okay? They do all do sports, they are athletes. And we have a coach. A coach is a person who talks chip, 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 and tell you, trip it, you play here, you stay there, and you come right here, stay there. The coach. You have a training, you go to play to become better. You train. To be like Messi or Ronaldo, you do training. And then the trophy, you win. I am the winner. Yay. You lift the trophy. Then the goalkeeper he catches the ball and stops it from going in goal. And then you have the fan. The fan is someone who supports the goalkeeper. Okay. Goalie, yay. Good girl, the fan. We have exercise. Do exercise. Do exercise. And then we have the captain. The captain is the leader of the team. He wears the big armband. Captain. Okay. Mm -hmm. Captain. So now we're going to listen to the words and one more time, repeat after the teacher. So we have athletes, and go on. And go on, can you repeat after me now? Athletes. Uh, athletes. Okay. Coach. Coach. Queen. Trophy. Trophy. Goalkeeper. Goalkeeper. Fan. Fan. Exercise. Exercise. Captain. Captain. Okay. Rhino. Athlete. Athlete. Fan. Fan. Coach. Coach. Goalkeeper. Goalkeeper. Training. Training. Exercise. Exercise. Trophy. Trophy. Captain. Captain. So I want to ask you boys a question. Okay. Uh, first of all, I want to ask the hi. Okay. You say yes or you say no, okay? Then hi, are you ready? Then hi, have you ever won a trophy? Have you ever won? Winner, yay! Yes, no. Yes, oh, interesting, I see. What about you, Anton? Have you ever won a trophy? No. Mm. And you, Rhino, have you ever won a trophy? No. I have won only four trophies, just four trophies. Okay, so next, uh, <clears throat> Tina, hi. Are you a goalkeeper? Yes or no? Anton, are you a goalkeeper? Yes or no? No. I know. Are you a goalkeeper? No. 
Okay, very good, very well. Now let's do some words now. Let's answer the questions, okay? Uh, Antoine, number two. Rhino, number three. Antoine, number four. Rhino, number five. And Antoine, number six, okay? Let's try and write the word in there now as we go. <clears throat> Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, a special prize for winning a team. For winning team or athlete. Special prize. What is it? Special prize. What is it? Hang on. What is it? Do you know? Uh, a trophy. Yeah, try again now. A trophy is a special prize for a winning team. A trophy oh, is a special prize for a winning team or athlete. Good job. Well done. I know. A football. A football. Coach trains the players. Very well, very well. Very good, excellent. Yes, good job, good job. Um, hi, okay. Uh, hi. You enter number four, okay? Then hi, number four. Then hi, can you enter number four? Good job, then hi. The captain is the leader of the football team. Yes, and one, number five. Um, an athlete is a person who plays a sport or runs race. Run races, good job. Number six, uh, Rhino. A football fan supports a team and watches the match. Good, very good, very good. Anyways. Let us continue. So we're gonna look at some things here, for example. We have um, the, 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 an, the antonyms are words with opposite meaning. For example, we have best and worst, win and lose, give and take. Words with opposite meaning. Best, worst. Win, yay, lose. Uh, give, take. Okay? That words we have that are opposite words with opposite meanings. Okay? So I want you to say the words. I want to start with them um, right now. Best, worst, win, lose, give, take. Right now. Right now, can you please read the words? No, 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 right now, right now, I cannot hear you. Turn on your mic. No, 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 right now, turn on your mic, right now. Yes. So I don't know. Can you, can you repeat the words? Repeat the words. Best, worst. Best, win, give, worst, lost, take. Lose, take. I know, lose, take. Lose, take. Good. And uh, Antoine, best, worst, win, lose, give, take. Uh. Best, worst, Win, lose, give, take. Best, worst, win, lose, give, take. Good. Now we're going to 
read and circle. Okay, number four. Then I will ask you all to make sentences with uh, the words best, worst, win, lose, give, take. Okay, but for now, we're going to read and circle. So, number two is for then high. Number three for Rhino. Number four for Anton. Then high. Jenny is a fan of the local team. She hopes they are going to win, lose on Saturday. Okay. Good job. Well done. Well done. Next, number three, I know. It was so nice of you to give me your extra ticket. And I'm going. Yes, Anton. That was the worst film I have never ever seen. It was so boring. Very well. Now we're going to try and make sentences with the word best, worst, win, lose, give, and take. So, then hi. You write your word for me in the chart. Then hi. Lose, lose. Uh, Antoine, uh, best, and uh, Rhino, take, okay? Then hi, lose, Antoine, best, Rhino, take. Write in the chat box, uh, right? No, 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 make a sentence, make a sentence. For example, he is the worst player I've ever seen. Okay, make a sentence now. Make a sentence. Think of your sentence and make a sentence. Very good. Very good. Okay, uh, didn't I, you say my team lost yesterday. Okay, my team lost yesterday. Yeah, not my team was lost. I'm the best player in the team. Okay, and uh, where is um, Rhino? Rhino, I cannot hear you, Rhino. Yes, right now. I need to check his yes. book. I need to take, yes, I need to take his book. I need to take this book. Okay. His you can book. also say, for example, you can also say, I need to take this book. To my father, I need to take this book to my friend, for example. Anyways, let us continue. All right. So in this particular word, in this particular place, this is what we're going to do in the next class, not today. We're going to learn about uh, mode verbs and other kinds of verse, verbs using may, might, and could to talk about the future possibilities. In the next lesson, we're going to learn about this one. But first, uh, but uh, 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 now I want to know, do you have a question for me, Antoine? And Rhino, do you have a question for me? Think about a question and ask the teacher. Right now, Antoine, do you have a question for me? What about you? 
Can hide. Do you have a question for teacher? No. Right now, are you thinking of a question for the teacher? Right now, are you thinking of a question for the teacher? Right now, I cannot hear you right now. I cannot see your face either. Okay. Very good. I cannot see your face. You need to put a camera. If you use your hand to say no, you have to wave to the camera so I can see your hand. But I cannot see what you're doing. So yes, very well. Okay. Uh, now, I have a question for you, Antoine, for you, Tien Hai, and for you, Rhino, before we go. Tien Hai, write your question in the chat box. Tien Hai, what will you do after the class? What will you do after the class? Write in the chat box. Rhino, same question. What will you do after the class? And Antoine, what will you do after the class? Antoine and uh, Rhino, don't write in the chat box. Tell me, tell me, okay? Okay, uh, so, uh, uh, did hi says I'm going to eat wash the dish not the disc okay Anton speak speak and Rhino you speak too tell me speak okay, Anton so what are you going to do Anton? can you repeat the, the question what will you do after the class what I will, will do after the class yeah I will go to my home. You are already in your house. Oh, I will. I will watch TV. I will play games. I will, I will sleep. Go. I will watch TV. Okay, very well. Now, I will also take a nap, not just a nap. I'll sleep and I will play some video games before I sleep. Okay? I'll see you boys um, in the next class. So, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, teacher. Yes, goodbye, goodbye teacher. Antoine. Goodbye, Din Hai. And goodbye, Rhino. Good night, teacher. Good night as well. Good night. I'll see you in the next class. Bye.